Hi guys! Today is going to be sort of a random video. I mentioned that I want to do videos where I sort of just talk about things um, and have discourse and stuff like that and so I have a subject that I wanted to talk about and I was thinking about it when I was in the shower and so I got out and I like did some research and stuff and so now I'm ready to talk about it. I guess I wouldn't say it's a sad subject. It's just more... It's not a happy subject. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about because it's something that's been bugging me recently was the concept of closure and why not getting closure seems to bug me so much and bug people so much. Like people are always like, I need closure. And if you don't have it, generally it's really hard for someone to move on from something. And I wanted to know why, or I wanted to know why not having closure specifically hurts so bad. The reason I want to talk about this is if you have seen my short film called Anam Kara, which is on my other channel, my main channel for music videos and short films, then you know I have a storyline that involves not getting closure. That entire film is about uh, getting cut out by like a close friend and trying to move on and then what it looks like when someone does move on because that is what happens towards the end. Also shout out to my friend who was willing to play not my friend for that film because they would never do that. And that relates to this topic because as you might know, if you're friends with someone who creates visual art, it is very, very, very likely that instances of that friendship will show up in the art along the way or like inspire certain storylines or characters or themes or ideas because all we have to go off of from the world is the things we see and read and ha like the relationships we have. So, so as you can guess after this string of wordiness that film is based on something that sadly happened to me in my life. I had that actual um, same experience, I guess I still technically have it, of a friend, as a lot of people online are calling it right now, ghosting me, something like that. I feel like that's a trivial term. I really feel like cutting someone out or something is a good term because it kind of gets to the core of how badly it hurts and how severe something like that can be. So. I had that happen to me with a friend and then I didn't have closure. So I went to therapy and it came up a lot in the sessions and the main thing that I kept saying was I wanted closure and it sucked that I didn't have it and it hurt and I wasn't gonna get over it without closure. And the main thing my psychologist could tell me was you have to give yourself closure. So considering all of that, I wanted to know why it still hurt so bad, why like just in the past couple days I've been thinking about it again and it still feels terrible. So here's some of my food for thought. One interesting thing, the main thing that I found that validated a lot for me and might for you was in an article on Psychology Today that uh, references a lot of peer-reviewed uh, scientific journals, so it's actually fairly well standing. And the main thing that I took away from that article was a quote, which was, social rejection activates the same pain pathways in our brain as physical pain. That is insane. It literally like hurts, hurts you to be rejected or cut out by a friend. And there's actually some evidence and claims that Tylenol has been shown to help with social rejection. So first off, holy crap, that's one reason that closure, not having it and social rejection hurt. Like it feels so shitty. Another thing is that when you don't know what happened and when there's no closure, you don't even know how to react. So you don't get to emotionally process anything. So a lot of those emotions just kind of stay in you. You don't have a response for it that you've learned from other social situations in your life. Being cut out and not having closure also leaves you with only one person left to question and that's yourself. And that makes it a problem because, as you know, questioning yourself and what did I do wrong or was it me, stuff like that, you can never really answer because you don't know the depths of your brain and you don't have another person to ask who could see you objectively. So you get left just, I mean, that is it. You don't have closure. You're left with a lot left inside of you. So then there's my personal take on some of it, some of my thoughts, because I've been thinking about this a lot, obviously, so I have some thoughts on it. One, I think, in life is that we expect everything to be solvable, like something we could fix, or if we can't fix it, we at least expect an answer as to why things happen. And for me, a big thing is wanting to know why. 
Um, and if I don't know why, I get into these cycles of like overthinking and then analyzing, thinking the same thing, thinking about how I'm thinking. That's part of the inspiration for this channel's name. Another main reason I think it really hurts and why closure sucks is people, the main thing that people want and humans want in life is connection of some form to someone. And so that kind of getting cut out and then not hearing anything is like, it makes you feel like anything but. I mean, it is the strongest form of rejection. I actually found a quote that made a lot of sense. It was, the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. And I think that says a lot, because that is true. The opposite of love is that they didn't care at all. There's also the friendship aspect of this. One thing that made me mad the whole entire time was the fact that there, it, like, it's not, losing a friendship is not treated the same way as losing a romantic relationship. And it invalidated how badly I felt about it, even though there's so much scientific evidence that they affect you the same way. I think the main thing is you don't know. And so you ask and you ask and you'll never get an actual answer. And that just makes it hard. And I don't want anyone to have to go through that. Although apparently some loose evidence says that 50% of people feel like they have been ghosted by a significant relationship or friendship and just casual things. But 50% of people have experienced that now because we can kind of hide behind like social media and texting. And I'm a proponent of those two things. I'm just, that's the reality. This doesn't really have like a point to it. I just kind of wanted to talk. I wanted other people's ideas and thoughts. There's not a lot of videos on YouTube about this too. There just aren't a lot of videos on YouTube talking about like why closure hurts so much. Um, just other information about like thinking about why we might want closure so badly, where that comes from. I want to hear your thoughts, so let me know, like the video, if you liked the subject and this sort of casual setup. Uh, give me a comment and let me know your thoughts. I will respond to all of them, I just really want to know. I really hope that this doesn't ever happen to any of you guys. See you guys around. Bye!